Stephanie back with you this week and today I want to share a look at my February printed photo book. So last month I used Pinhole Press and I created an 8x8 eight eight hardback kind of lay flat album and I wanted to do a different size this month and I wanted to try a different size that I haven't ever tried before. So this is an 8.5 by 11 paperback from Artifact Uprising. And I've definitely used them for other photo albums before and I always love the albums and I love the print quality and the way the books themselves turn out. So I decided to try um, the 8.5 by 11 size, which I don't take, a, most of my photos are typically um, landscape photos, not portrait photos. So it was a little bit interesting when I was pulling in the photos, but I found um, that a lot of the um, different page layouts accommodated a either a square photo or a landscape photo. So I think it worked out just fine. So here's a look at the cover. I used an image of my kids and I used, um, I knew I wanted to have the month in the middle box up here where you could put a title. So I made sure I had a photo of them where there was a good bit of white space at the top to make um, that title kind of stand out and not cover any of their faces. So I'll just quickly walk you through my album. Um, one thing I did throughout the book was use quotes and um, add text to the pictures and kind of like caption the photos. Um, and um, I love that Artifact, and I'm sure most companies probably let you do this, just let you bling, bring in a blank page and then you can add whatever you like. So this is just kind of like a title page, intro page there. Um, I did a lot of full page photos, as you see here, my son, um, and then other photos I would try to add just a little bit of caption about them, just to try to get something in the story, some of our story in this book. Um, another thing that I, you'll kind of see, I did kind of the same process, pretty repetitive throughout the book, is I would use a large photo on one side and then add the story in on the other side um, with no other additional photos, just so it was the text. They're just, I like the white space and the way it kind of makes the photos pop. Um, anywhere I had a series of photos, so this is um, some pictures that I took with my daughter. I tried to incorporate them in one spread just for a little bit of cohesion there. Um, Artifact has a good number of different page layouts. So this one, again, they were all from the same event and I tried to just pull them in to kind of a collage there. Same thing there. Large photo there. Um, this one here, I did a page like this for my son and my daughter. Um, four photos of her. I didn't really need a caption or to say anything about it, but I just thought it was kind of fun to have um, photos of her and I put, you know, her name and then how old she is there. So as you can see, I kind of played around with where I was going to place my text. So this is over to the right hand side. Some of them I placed in the middle here. This one was two photos and I placed the text right in the middle, as I mentioned. Um, and this is a photo that I actually posted on Instagram. So um, I just um, re I just retyped what my text or what my caption was on Instagram on that photo there. I'll just flip on through. Same thing, um, photos, large photos, and then a quote or some kind of copy there. So pictures of my son that I did just like my daughter. Um, Artifact lets you add text right on top of a photo, so I don't know if you can see this one down here. But I added, um, I just added a little text box and then added my little bit of my story down there at the bottom, just trying to get it, some words in here instead of it just being all photos. I think I remember most everything now, but I'm sure years from now when I look back, um, it'll be definitely something that will be good to have written out. And this is a photo that I um, took of my son. So one thing with the paperback books that you can't do with Artifact is um, a double spread photo. And, and it's probably, I'm assuming, because there's such a large spine there, they don't lay flat. Um, so what I did for this photo is, um, it's two eight and a half by 11s. Um, and I just saved them separately and then 
pulled them in as a full spread photo for each side. So as you can kind of see, it looks like a full spread photo there. So this was a pretty neutral picture, the sky over here. So it just helped it kind of blend into that there. Same thing, and I just played around with the different page layouts and photos and tried to pull in and incorporate similar photos and similar stories, keep the cohesion with, you know, black and white photos across both pages, same colors. I like to do that when I create any kind of album, just to have a little bit of help it tell the story across both pages. And one thing I had mentioned last month um, was that I wanted to make sure that I included um, more pictures of my husband. He um, definitely is usually on the other side of the camera where I am, so they're usually my children. Um, so he is in here this month, yay! And another thing that I had mentioned wanting to be sure to do is to add in kind of those candid moments of um, off my iPhone and photos that didn't necessarily need to be a full size photo or a full page photo, but it still had um, some of our story from that month. So one thing I decided to do, I'll show you here at the end, um, that's kind of the last page of February, but I decided to um, create two photo collages. So these are both eight and a half by 11 photo collages and I created them in PicMonkey um, and then I pulled them right into um, their own individual page on um, the artifact bookmaker there. So here I just dropped my photos into an eight and a half by 11 canvas and then I pulled it in as a full page photo. So it gave me a full collage across um, two pages. So these are just the extra little photos that I had on my camera that didn't make it into um, the album as a full picture, but I still wanted them in here. Um, just to have as many of the photos as I can in from my camera and my phone in our albums. And then I just finished it with a little goodbye February. And that's kind of a look at this album. So it's definitely fun to try a different size every month. Um, I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing for March yet. And I, I need to get started. I have a ton of pictures, so um, I try to work in batches throughout the month. So I'm probably going to start soon. So if anybody has an album recommendation or um, a company that they love, just leave me a message in the comments below and I will definitely check them out. Thanks so much. Let me know if you have any questions, guys.